Welcome to Incredible. This is your world, isn't it? Man, I live here, literally. I'm here, this is my business, this is my creative space, so we, we here, man. This is, this is literally my office where- This is know, your office? Yeah, where I got the DJ set up, Twitch, you know, my massage chair, my guitar, uh, all my books. Uh, and then of course, right next to me, I gotta have the kids, it's the nursery. The nur how, how many kids can you get in there? How about 12, you can get about 12 in here, 12. Uh, but yeah, man, so I think this is where I'm, this area right here, I'm constantly, this is, I don't move from this during business hours and then downstairs is where we do Hold it. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta point something out that I love that was in here. This picture right here. Oh, that's me and my mom. I know. <laughs> but this is almost like all of this stuff, like all my, my entire family, I, wherever it is, like all of the kids and just memories, my grandfathers, like mm. it's so, it's. It's really a vibe, man. You know what? I see the I see the Mariah billboard, and it just, of I just course. I just saw the TikTok. You saw with your daughter. <laughs> How was that? that to see her. I loved it. <laughs> to me, that was epic in the sense of where I always even say like, my daughter has the. the the entertainment bug is bitter, and she, yeah. she is definitely see that connection with her and her mom is beautiful. Something I've always told I've always told people this, and they didn't. Sometimes they didn't believe me. I'm like, this dude's a businessman, <laughs> like business. Hey, we, me and Kev got some stuff cooking up. Come on now. <laughs> but okay, so in the whole. So what's this going is on the here? bullpen area. This is kind of where you know we, we just get creative. Y'all playing ping pong? Y'all in here playing ping pong? Like I talking flowing. about new shows. Ideas flowing. Yeah. Hey, we're both terrible. Yeah, we are. we are. We are terrible. We also, because we're doing something else right now, kids. Yeah. But it's amazing that you have, you have these areas for everybody just to come, yeah. sit, think. And just really have an idea, because, you know, my goal at, here at Incredible is to create as many platforms and opportunities for young people, yes. uh, content, IP, and then show them the process of how how to own it and do it on your own. And mm -hmm. even the same thing, like this right here is, this is my DJ setup. It's where, you know, everything from Twitch to my radio show. So you're to, in here. Yeah, like. like oh yeah, look at it. Got the, the GoPro the, there. Yeah, got the, the drops. We we doing it all. So every single day I'm popping from one room to another with a different job. One this cool. one job, that's one job. job. Like Yeah, how many jobs you got, Nick? Uh, about as many as kids. <laughs> <laughs> I know Nick is tired. He's been up all night memorizing his kids' names. <laughs> Whoa, whoa. By the way, how is that that, you know, you have moved from show to show to show and they keep hit? Yeah. What does that say? What do you say to the folks? I mean, it's a blessing, man. My <laughs> ego wants to, <laughs> wants to talk right. some noise, but. Right. Explain to people that Wild and Out is owned by Nick Cannon. Yes, sir. And it's funny because this is something that I initially, people didn't understand. They didn't get it. They, mm -hmm. and so nobody would invest in it. So I had to invest in my own money, and I, I shot the pilot, the first one, rounded up Kevin Hart when nobody knew who he was. Yeah. Cat Williams and all of, all of these people and said, yo, I'm gonna rent out a comedy club and we just gonna wild out. And from there, I took the tape and sold it and showed it to MTV. And through that process, I kept the ownership of the IP and the brand. And, you know, we 20 years later, uh, <laughs> 500 episodes mm. later. I also noticed this. The money. <laughs> get the money. That's what you right when you get, step up. Get the money. Get. But you want to talk about a room. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. The kids love this room, don't they? Of course. This is our, our gaming arcade. And we 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 have fun in here. I mean, obviously everybody knows I'm a big kid. I'm a gamer. So we got the gaming set up over there, but it's it's another space wow. where creative. You know what I mean? So yeah. you can just come down here, kind of be like creative. Let the loose. kid, the kid, like you said, the kids love hanging out in here. Do they? Yeah, yeah. And it's it's, it's a big, you know, dad's office is the is the, the destination, place. right? They're yeah. like, let's go to daddy's office. <laughs> Didn't Golden just had a birthday? How did he celebrate? Man, he turned up in a giant arcade. You know, he wanted. He's he's a young gamer too. So we got a we got a, a semi truck that has what? Uh, all nothing but gaming systems in it. So. All his friends rode around. They love that. Truck. How do you figure that out? The timing, 
to spend with everybody. Everybody thinks it's time management, it's energy management. If you put, because you got to get the, the, once we're all aligned and the flow is a lot easier. If there's mm. any kind of low frequencies or dissension in it, that's what messes up the, right. the, the scheduling. But if you, right. because we just, as long as we're all on the same page and we all got the same goal to be the best parents we could possibly be, that works. And then the, the scheduling is the scheduling. This room, the Sugar Factory, baby. What? My what? partners at the Sugar Factory came through for me. Y'all know I'm a big kid and I love candy. So I was but like, this is I, gotta, I had to have my own candy store in the office. Again, the kids love it here. <laughs> I mean, they're so happy when they get to come in here, right? <laughs> and it's anything, like, because it's a difference, because I got, like, all my retro stuff that, you know, we came up with, like, the wax lips and all of right, that. Right, right, but then right, they got all right. the, the, day, sweet yeah, the, new, the new stuff for the kids. They love the Sour Patch Kids and the, the Nerd Clusters. But so it, it's, it's fun, and we get to have fun, fun And so y'all can't, look at this, all the cereals. All the cereals every morning. Oh. So you get up in the morning, you'd be like, I'm gonna have some Lucky yeah, Charms. Yeah, yeah, some Lucky Charms, some Cocoa Pebbles. You know what's crazy though? You know, I get here every morning at 2 a.m. What? Yeah, so. Well, explain, so, why? Why do you get here at 2 a.m.? One, I'm on a circadian clock. So, okay. so that means like you're supposed to go to sleep when the sun goes down. That's what our body tells us. And then you rise when the sun comes up. That's when you can be your most creative. The hours from two to five are your most creative. But you don't want, you don't want to be your most tired right. at your most creative hours. So therefore, I get up at two, and then you know my radio show starts mm -hmm. at six. So I got to, I work out, I meditate, and then I get prepared for the show. So by the time five is, I'm I'm fresh to go. Oh, my when do you go to bed? I go to bed at like seven, eight. When the kids go to bed, I put the kids oh, to bed. I go and then to you bed go to them. bed. <laughs> Wait a minute. He's got a barber shop. I mean, not that I would need it now, but I'm just saying, <laughs> there's a barber shop. Yeah, you know, we got it. This is really where I kind of get get ready for whatever I'm doing here. So the in hair and here. makeup team and all that stuff. But gotta have my barber chair, kinda keep the vibes and if I have I all mean, my this shoes. is a legit barber chair, y'all. Yeah, you gotta you gotta do that. it. I love that. <laughs> we I love it. Get Lots too. of shoes, anything you need. Ultimately, this empire. Yes. It becomes theirs one day, doesn't it? Absolutely. And I I was even saying that you know it's a blessing man. Like hopefully because of what I am able to do my kids can do whatever they want to do and to be yeah. able to be in this position and they want to be a nuclear physicist i know somebody at ivy league school that i could figure yeah, we can start cultivating that now if they want to go into the military I, if they want to be artists if they want to be actors it's a thing where we have the capability now and then to mm -hmm. say whatever let's start talking about it now so we can help your dreams come true so hopefully whatever it is that they want to do that they'll be successful at it, they'll, it'll be a passion, it'll be real, and then they can provide for me. And that's, that's the whole, but the, the, the beauty of it <laughs> is that, daddy. <laughs> I want to be able to say, yo, the sky is the limit. You can operate on the highest frequency at anything you want to do, and I want to invest in you and make sure that you can, you know, live the mm. dreams that you want to live. All right, are you done? I yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Are you sure? Did you said that was a real, that was the kind of well, like, that's a, God decides when we're done, Kev. <laughs> no, but I, you know, I believe I'm definitely, I, I got my hands full and I'm mm -hmm. so focused, I'm locked in. So, you know, as of right now, but you know, when I'm 85, you never know. I might. <laughs> Picasso, um, I'm dealing with Picasso here. Okay, I didn't understand. I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it.